हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम शास्त्रीय काल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वॉश ऑफ एट वारेवा डॉट कॉम टुडे वी गेट लर्न हाउ टू मेक अनदर सार दाल बट यूजिंग ए इंग्रेडिएंट व्हिच यू ऑल नो बट यू डोंट नो व्हाट आई मीन यू नो एंड यू डोंट नो इज यू ऑल मस्ट हैव ईटन द चेरीज ओके दीस आर नॉट द चेरी फैमिली बट दीस आर कैंडिड चेरीज व्हाट वी कॉल देम this so called candied cherry is not made with cherries but using karonda that's how they make it in india so we all know this candied cherries but we don't know about karonda these karondas you know now is the season and they are available all over and they are very very sour you might see this when you walk in the vegetable market but lot of times when you don't know you don't even enquire these karondas are very sour you can make excellent pickles relish and specially you can make nice sour dal so for this i have taken the karonda and just cut them and remove the seed they don't need to remove you can just add it it's not like a seed it's very soft so it it will also get cooked so let's go ahead and make dal with this karonda ah it just like uh, much sour than tamarind ah so to make this we going to add some oil in the pan and uh, you know they are more like uh, same family of uh, cranberries but very very sour these leaves of this plant are much bigger slightly bigger and uh, for the tempering you can use any tempering but today i'm going to make it very simple some cumin seeds chopped garlic and chilies whole okay if you want to chop them you can add uh, chopped but i've just slit these uh, green chilies and put it in this in this add curry leaf and add karonda add pinch of uh, turmeric salt and add water put the lid and boil it for at least 4 uh, 5 minutes till this is nice soft and the sourness gets into the water that's when we going to add dal while this karonda is getting cooked and bringing out the sourness let's take the candied karonda what we find as cherries in india wow mm 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 and you will wonder how they make this sour karonda into such sweet cherries mm mm after cooking this uh, karonda for around 2 to 3 minutes and we going to add this dal which has been boiled till it is nice and soft okay just put in this and uh, you know let this cook so that the dal becomes nice and thin you know they may look like small baby tomatoes floating in this dal but they will give nice sourness just put the lid on we going to cook this for at least 2 uh, 3 minutes till it comes to a nice boil after which just simmer it for another 2 minutes and the dal will be ready. instead of cutting into pieces and adding you can also you know put this karonda in a blender make it a paste and use it instead of tamarind juice to make your dal katta and it will be tasting even better than the tamarind sourness in this add a pinch of sugar that will just control the amount of sourness that this uh, karonda gives and uh, you know also make sure that the karonda is cooked till it is nice and mashy because if uh, the karonda is doesn't become mashy it won't make your dal sour and when you take piece of karonda from it it will be too sour so once you make this little bit mashy the dal will become nice sour just like how we make the raw mango dal or even tamarind dal dear friends this is very easy just for the purpose of decoration i am using some uh, you know some of these uh, karonda which are not mashed but make sure that this is uh, nicely mashed and wow you know you enjoy this uh, with fulka or even with rice wow this will taste super fantastic hmm dear friends i hope you enjoyed today's session of learning how to make this karonda dal with your washer but do not forget vareva is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking